Both of my parents are engineers, so I was raised in a science family. It was always kind of taught to me that you want to follow something that you're passionate about, and in my family it was the sciences. So from a very young age, I knew that I wanted to go into either a science-based field or something in the medical field, and that's what drew me to my medical sciences. I was in the sciences for so long, I never really saw modeling as a possibility, but Sports Illustrated Swimsuit actually did their first open casting call two years ago via social media. And when I saw it, I thought, this is my chance. It's always something that I've kind of wanted to do, never knew how to get into it, and I submitted a video via Instagram, and here I am. That was my first photo shoot that I ever did. So <laughs> Sports Illustrated Swimsuit really welcomed me into the family right away. I did like senior photos, and then I went from that to doing Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. So, I was very nervous in Belize. I had no clue what I was doing. And thankfully I shot with Yutsai, who is a world-renowned photographer, and he kind of helped me through it. So the beaches of Belize were my practicing ground for my Ricky shoot in Kenya. The running joke was that he was gonna put up his favorite photo of me in his office and he was gonna have this big blown up photo of me. And after last year's shoot, MJ and I were like, I wonder which outfit it's gonna be. He picked the tiniest bikini I was in. I was like, baby, if people walk into the house, like my grandma's in the house and here I am blown up in your office. So now he's actually getting the photo blown up. It's happening. The dream came to life. <laughs> Kenya was magical. If you have not been to Kenya, go to Kenya. It's incredible. I actually shot on the beach, which I, you know, I'm really not great at geography. Science, I got you. Geography, not my strongest point. So when they told me I was shooting on the beach in Kenya, I didn't even really know that there were beautiful beaches in Kenya. But when I went, it was magical. I mean, it was my rookie shoot. So it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. And go to Kenya if you haven't been there. It's incredible. You know, I am a huge nerd. So for me, before I shot for Sports Illustrated, I studied. I watched all of the best models. I watched Kate, I watched Chrissy, I watched Heidi. I watched all of these old videos to see how they moved their bodies and how they posed. And that was my way of getting ready for the shoot because, you know, before you take a big test, you gotta study. So I studied right before I shot my spread for Sports Illustrated Swim. Taco Bell. Everyone on my social media knows too, I am obsessed with Taco Bell. When I had all those late nights studying in college, Taco Bell got me through it. They're, they're my best friend. So I get the Chipotle chicken griller, chicken and cheese quesadilla, cinnamon twist, and a large serum mist. It's my go-to, every time. Fun facts about me. Well, the first is I'm a natural redhead. I get that question all the time. I've never dyed my hair, so yes, I am a ginger. The second is that I'm double jointed and it creeps a lot of people out, but I have crazy, people call them witch hands, but I have crazy hands. And then the third fun fact is I'm obsessed with Lord of the Rings. You know those Sky Mall magazines that used to be on Delta? I own the uh, One Ring to Rule Them All from Sky Mall, as well as the chess set, the risk set, and a paperweight that is all themed Lord of the Rings. Go water, I love it. I'm such a nerd. <laughs>